Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and my tutorials. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to create a dashboard which talks about when your contracts are expiring. For example, you want to identify the contracts which are expiring in next 15 days, 30 days or 60 days, whatever that you would want to identify. So this is how you can do it. I have a slicer that you can see over here, which basically talks about the number of days uh, in which the contracts are expiring for example if i select on 30 over here you will see all the contacts here which are expiring in the next 30 days and these are the number of contracts by state and these are the number of contacts contracts by category likewise if i click on let's say 15 days over here these are all the contracts which are expiring in next 15 days by state and by category so why you choose the number of days over here so let's say when you click on 15 days your title of the uh, table also says that the contracts are expiring in 15 days if i if you select 60 here it says contracts expiring in 60 days if you don't select anything this, this displays all the contracts that you have in your database so it is quite an exciting one so let's get started with this tutorial the first thing that i'm going to do here is show you the data set that i have over here so i have something called as order id and uh, i have contract start date end date and i have few more details like country city details etc category subcategory and obviously the contract amount so now let's the first thing that I'm going to do here is let us add a slicer over here. So I'm going to go to the uh, modeling tab and click on new parameter. And then here we're going to call this as days to expire. Okay. And then this is going to be whole number minimum here. Uh, let's say I need 15 days and maximum. Let's say I need 60 days and increment of 15 days. So I need 15, 30, 45, 60 not 50 but 60 yeah so this is what i want and default i want this to be at 15 and then add slicer to this page so we will add the slicer to this page now and once the slicer is added let us quickly change the uh, visual of the slicer here currently it is a slicer now we'll change this to a tree map so that it looks a little different and then i'm going to bring in the days to expire here into the uh, value field so that uh, we have the value over here and change uh, sorry not this let me bring in this itself here and change this to count distinct okay and then now we have the equal size uh, of slicer that i have over here and then let's quickly uh, do some changes here to the title let's call this as days to expire this looks good to me right now okay now let's quickly add a table here and uh, in this table uh, i would like to have category and then let's go over here to the style preset and i would like to keep this minimal okay so this is what i like as of now so let's proceed now uh, what we need to do now is that we need to connect this slicer to play around with this particular data set that we have over here so for that, what we will do is we will create a new measure over here, wherein we will identify the uh, contracts which are expiring in 15 days, 30 days, etc. Okay, so let's call this as expiry is equals to the first thing that we will do here is let us quickly uh, assign the values to a variable. Okay, so let me assign the expiry date. I'm going to define a variable here and then expiry date is equals to and then I'm going to say min of uh, end date contract end date. That's what I have over here. That's the expiry date. OK, min of contract end date we will proceed with return. I'm going to write an if statement over here if and and I need two arguments over here. So I'm going to use the and statement as well. If my expiry date is greater than today comma and if it is less than if my expiry date is less than equals to today plus the value that we select here from the slicer which i have here as days to expire value okay so understand the formula that i'm uh, that I have over here so where I'm saying expiry date should be greater than today and expiry date should be less than or equals to uh, today plus the number of days which is going to expire so let's say if it is expiring from 
for 15 days onwards from today then i need to include them over here okay and then then i'm going to close the bracket here for the and statement okay if it is less than between this date what is it that i want result if true and if it is true then return yes else return no else return no i'm going to close the quote here and then close the bracket and press enter okay so now we have this formula over here so let us see how this is going to function and let me just bring in the measure that we just created over here okay so now let me click on 15 okay so what is happening is even if you have filtered here on 15 this is giving you all the details whether it's an s or a no right so now what we need to do is we need to bring in this expiry uh, into the uh, visual filter over here which we already have and then say is equals to yes and then click on apply filter so when you do that you will see contracts which are expiring in the next 15 days okay so how do we check let's quickly add in the start date and end date as well because we've not added them here so if you see over here 26th may let me just sort this out so 19th may up till 31st may is, is are all the contracts that are being displayed here which are expiring in the next 15 days so likewise if i click on 30 over here you will see all the contracts which are expiring until up till 15 june okay likewise if i click on 45 you will see all the contracts which are expiring up till 30th of june and when you deselect them we've selected 15 as our default so that is why you are seeing all the 15 all the contracts which are uh, expiring in 15 days now one thing one change that we can do here is that let us say if you have not selected any value over here but in in that case you will have to display all the uh, contracts in this particular table irrespective of when they are getting expired so how do we do that so what we will do is we will go back to our uh, uh, measure over here and then we will let's add a condition here if is filtered okay filtered what if is filtered days to expire table that we have over here if it's filtered days to expire okay close the bracket comma result if true okay if it is true then return uh, this okay else return yes because this is what we are filtering over here in this particular table if it is true then return yes or a no if it is false then return a s which will basically display all the contracts whether irrespective of when they are expiring okay and then let's press enter now what will happen is you will immediately see that you've now started to see all the contracts that we have in our table irrespective of when they are getting expired but if i click on 15 over here you will only see the contracts which are expiring in the next 15 days likewise if i click on 60 you will only see the contracts which are expiring in the next 60 days okay now let's take the dashboard to the next level now okay so let us add a title to this particular uh, table over here let's go to the general here and add a title call this as uh, all contracts okay and let's add a background to this change the text to white okay and align this to center okay so now it is currently displaying all the contracts to you and that is what you're able to read over here but if you click on 15 over here it is still saying all contracts wherein it should say that these are the contracts which are expiring in the next 15 days so let's add a dynamic table or uh, dynamic title to this particular table so how do we do that so let's go over here click on new measure and on this new measure over here i'm going to call this measure as dynamic table just give it a second i'm going to call this as dynamic title okay is equals to so we will use the if statement over here uh, if is filtered okay same condition that we applied before if is filtered my days to expire table if it is filtered then if it is true what is it that i want i want uh, the value over here which says contracts expiring in okay i'm going to close the quote here type in and 
the I, I need the value that we select from the particular slicer which is uh, days to expire value okay days to expire value and uh, so we say contracts expiring in 15 that is what we are getting over here 15 or 30 whatever value that we select and say days okay I'm going to close the code here and type in comma and what if it is false if it is false then display all contracts display all contracts close the bracket and press enter okay so once you do that you will have a new measure that is created so let's quickly go back to the uh, formatting tab of this visual under general you will find title and under days to expire over here you see a little fx button over here which is for conditional formatting so select format style as field value what field should we base this on this is based on the dynamic title okay and then i'm going to click on okay so you will see that the title has changed it now says contracts expiring in 15 days if i click on 30 it says contracts expiring in 30 days if i click on 60 it says contracts expiring in 60 days however if i don't click anything over here this displays as all contracts right and now you can add, you can so the, your table is now created let's add some more visuals uh, to this dashboard before that let's create a measure here to count the number of contracts which are going to expire okay so i'm going to call this as number of sorry number of contracts is equals to here i'm going to use the calculate function calculate distinct count I'm going to count the order ID that I have over here. I'm going to close the bracket here, comma. I'm going to type in filter. Let's take this to the next line so that it's visible to you all. I'm going to use the filter function over here. And uh, it's asking me to enter the uh, table here, uh, which is going to be my contacts table, contracts, comma and filter expression here it is going to be the measure that we created which is expiry is equals to yes okay then i'm going to close the bracket once close the bracket twice and press enter now we've created a measure to count the number of contracts which are expiring okay and let's add a, a visual over here let's add a bar chart first and let's add the state and let's add the number of contracts to this and let's quickly go here to the um uh, format tab and turn on the data labels and you will see that we now are in all contracts so these are the number of contracts that we have by each state and if i click on let's say 30 and let's go over here go to the format tab click on edit interactions and choose filter here so you will only see uh the uh contracts which have been uh which are expiring right so these are the contracts which are expiring in these uh, states. So I'm going to have this over here. Let's quickly copy this and create a duplicate of this so that we can create another visual. This time, let's say by category. So I'm going to put in category over here, get rid of state. So these are the categories. So if I select 30 and select filter over here. So these are the two categories wherein in office supplies, I have nine contracts in furniture. I have six contracts and thus you can build a you know a, a, a dashboard which can look very pleasing to look at and uh, so this is how basically you would create a, a contract expiring dashboard uh, i hope this uh, tutorial has helped you guys in learning something new and uh, achieving what you're trying to achieve uh, a lot of effort goes on in making these videos i hope you guys realize and uh, the only request to you guys is that please subscribe to my channel and uh, also hit the like button and drop in your comments to let me know how you guys are learning power bi thank you so much for watching